Welcome to Sharp Parenting Model Talks. My name is Martin, and in this episode, I want us to look at one dangerous attitude that, as a parent, you should, by all means, stop using. Your role as a parent is to create a relationship that supports and facilitates the child to grow and evolve as independent as possible. The resources that a child needs to grow, they are within them. They're not with you. Because the growth of a human being depends so much on the natural endowment, on the, uh, the wiring that is within them, and with the mental, emotional, and spiritual resources within them. Yes, it's true. You're called to meet physical needs for your child time and again. But then growth, true growth, is a phenomenon that is sourced from within the child. That is why the best thing I can do and you can do as a parent is to have a relationship with the child. A relationship that supports the child to grow in their own space because after they become adults they are supposed to function and operate from their space now when you run with this attitude I am superior then it means you imply that the child is inferior whenever a relationship is based on superior and inferior one person feels disadvantaged one person feels not enough not complete not talented so one person feels they are a puppet of the other and no human being can offer themselves willingly can open their hearts and minds in an atmosphere where they're made to feel something is not enough with them, something is incomplete with them, something is amiss with them. And so superior and superior attitude is definitely going to stop your child from willingly opening their world to you. You are not to stop the child living from the world. You are to support them to live from their world because that is their foundation. You are growing older. A time is coming, you will exit the stage and your child will be on stage. So it's important that you stop approaching parenting like it's a superior, inferior kind of a game. But then the child will block you. They might survive. They might offer allegiance and submission because when they're children, they're helpless. They're dependent. But then as they progress, as they go through individuation and separation, they will pull out of that sort of cocoon and it's going to be messy because they're going to be rebellious. They're going to hit back on the injustice that you've inflicted on them through superior, inferior kind of parenting. So I hope that helps you to see why you need to stop thinking and feeling that you are superior.